Hey everyone, it's been a little bit, so I want to do a quick pilgrimage update. Um, we've been working on loads of stuff. The Class 4 roads open up in uh, in two weeks. Some towns are already open, but the vast majority will open up in two weeks on the 15th. So everyone's been asking about maps. Mike has been working like a madman to bring the maps into the GPX format for the first time. But not only that, have them available to you to direct download via the website login. So... How it's going to work, and again, I may screw this up because I am not the tech god like Mike is. You'll be able to log in, view the maps on the web page, and then also download them in a GPX format to should be compatible with pretty much any app out there that you're using for off-roading. Um, some of the cool stuff that we're working on as we move forward with having the maps online is when you're looking at them on the web page, people will be able to add pictures and notes to certain trails or class fours. Um, so that way we get a vast, just a bigger knowledge base of data and everything else that we can just put in the maps, um, and, or what lines are best, that sort of stuff. It's, I'm really looking forward to that aspect of it. The other big thing it really helps us do is as the trails change, um, and I have to change things on the map, like change difficulty or say we're added stuff or a certain section has to be deleted for some reason. Um, we can do that instantly and just say, hey, the writing map has been updated, just download a new writing map into your GPX file. And we don't have to deal with this mass emails and drop boxes. So everyone will always have the latest maps. So really looking forward to that. The other thing we're working on is we'll be recording our first couple episodes of the Class War podcast on Saturday. So um, for this one, the hosts are going to be Mike Moffitt, who a lot of you guys know, does all the technical stuff and actually got me into uh, rovers and overlanding and down this horrible, horrible road that I now love. Um, so we'll talk about that. Chris Freeman with the amazing cheese and his lovely wife, Emily. Um, so Chris will be on the podcast and I got him into rovers. So it's it's kind of a, kind of a chain here. And um, we'll talk about the event. We're going to talk about how we all got into this, uh, into this. And then, um, in some of the later episodes we'll record, we're going to talk about when things go wrong. Um, so that you know, we all talk about the eye accident and the lightweight with Catherine and I, or vehicle fires, um, or other vehicles and aircraft that I've been in on fire. A lot of fires with me in, in aircraft or vehicles or houses. Um, anyways, we'll get into that. So we're planning on putting out one every couple weeks. And if you guys like them, awesome. We'll keep doing, it. if not, not, not a problem. Um, events wise, we have a couple little events coming up on the 20th. We have our first meet and greet at Worthy Burger. So Jason and our friends at Worthy Burger are hosting us. Um, it's, you don't need reservations on like Worthy Kitchen. It's going to be from noon to two. Come on out, see some vehicles, socialize, and then we'll go for some riding on the, on the class wars after that. The Hendersons will be down. They have availability. If anyone wants to come up and camp for the night or camp for that weekend, they have plenty of availability. So reach out to uh, to Cheryl and, and book in a spot. But we're really looking forward to that. And then on the uh, 29th, we have the Cemeteries and Cellar Hole Tour, which uh, I'm really looking forward to. Um, there's some amazing stories with the cemeteries. Uh, some really cool stuff as we go. And... Uh, that's going to be our first of our history tours this year. Um, and I really want to see what people, what people think of, um, of this side of the overlanding. This is the, this is the side that I'm most passionate about, especially being in Vermont is the history. Um, it's where I've grown up, but as I've moved around the state, I'm just discovering so much more, um, just amazing stories and seeing these old cemeteries and the cellar holes and, um, we don't have a lot of info in the cellar holes, but the cemeteries share some amazing stories. So really looking forward to that. We have a couple slots open for that. And then, um, man, as that's the end of May, we start working into our meet and greets. Um, so expect a couple meet and greets with some of our, our vendors. Um, I would expect to see something down at Orvis in Manchester, probably in July or August, We're working on some others uh, out with South Elm in New Hampshire and the... Uh, F and F down and OEX guys down in Connecticut. So we're still just getting all set up, but a bunch of events coming up. Never mind the the history tour. So and just getting out and exploring the class four roads, taking advantage of those maps. Remember when you're up here, drive courteously, spend your money locally, and um, just have fun. All right, look forward to talking to you uh, at the meet and greets and on the class four podcasts and everything else. All right, see everyone soon.